Nice one. It's some tech stuff James gave me to give away. So I'm running a competition. I've got loads of new followers already. That's a turnaround. Surprise, people like freebies. Well, I mean, after Amy and everything. You've got to keep going. And I can do this by myself. Great. So James just gave you all that stuff? It was just lying around his office. It was either that or throw it away. You might want something in return. What do you mean? Like a, a cut in the profits. There are no profits. Not this time, but next time you might get paid to do it by a tech giant. So that you have to protect your image and your brand. Uh, she's got a big enough head as it is, man, though. I'm very humble. No, I'm just saying, keep an eye on it, yeah? Anyone want anything inside? No, thanks. I'm OK. He might be right, you know, about James wanting something in return. Oh, come on, he's just giving you all this free stuff, do you hear? Because he wants to help me. He's not like that, OK? I know what I'm doing. Jack, go on, go and get your bag. But I haven't finished. Yeah, well, tough. Come on, we have to go. And don't put too many toys in that bag, all right? All right? Come on, hurry up. Jack Gleason, did you hear me? The whole world heard your mom. You're cheeky. Today, do we? Lily said tomorrow. Yeah, no. Jack, come on. Sorry, are you okay? Oh, Jack's no school. There's a teacher training day. My child mind are just cancelled. Nora can help me out this morning, but she's got a dental appointment at 12. Jack, come on. I should have called first. No, you're all right. But you couldn't help me out, could you? I could get Nora to drop him over to you. Me? I mean, I just have to cover the bar at lunch. It'll only take a couple of hours, I promise. Sure, you can hang out with me in the community centre. I won't get in your way. He amused himself. No problem. All right, thanks. I owe you. So, if you're not here for a meeting, why are you here? Oh. Uh, Killer wants to see me about something. I'd better go. Oh, he asked me for a reference for a flat. Flat? Yeah. He's definitely going to be one of your success stories. Hopefully. Look, it's no problem to take, Jack. Thanks. Ah, oh, Jack, come on. You can hardly close the bag. Have a coffee, please. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Is that a new look? Michelle's handy work. She did a good job. Mm. Permanent mm. marker. At least it looks like you're having fun. <laughs> this is no fun. Boy, I have a job to go. The Carol is going to kill me. Relax. You'll have your mask on, won't you? <laughs> <laughs> Someone drew him a permanent marker last night when he was passed out drunk. You need to pick your friends more carefully, Sean. See ya. Yeah. So, uh, passed out drunk, yeah? Ah, uh, don't you start. What does your new girlfriend think of that? We broke up. What? Already? I'm sorry to hear that. That's all right. Wasn't serious. Maybe she didn't like your mustache. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what you think it is. Ah, uh, Vinny's right. You'd be careful who you're hanging out with. It wasn't one of my friends who done this. What do you mean? One of Vinny's friends? Right, it's fine, okay? I fell asleep on the sofa. They thought it was funny. You don't have to put up with that. You're managing the place, remember? Yeah. And I'm doing my best, Pete. Yeah. Don't let her walk all over you. If you're not happy, sort it out. Did I'll call Rob and get that off. It's only just gone ten. You're up early. I had to leave the flat I was staying in. It's not my fault, all right? There was a row in the end, and I can't go back. Why didn't you come to me sooner? I tried to tell you yesterday, didn't I? You were busy. Carol told me about the reference for the flat. There was loads of people looking at it. It didn't stand the chance. Where are you staying now? Nowhere. I need you to put in a good word for me at the shelter. They told me they're full. You can't stay there. You haven't even asked them yet. To get one of those apprenticeships, you need a fixed address. OK, I'll use the flat I was staying in. 
It doesn't work like that. You have to live there. Jacko, how are you doing, bud? All right, I got the lab skill. Result? <laughs> you can use those toilets in there. Carol said I have to drop Jack to you later. Is 11.30 all right? Yeah, fine. Just make sure you're here. I'm happy to help. Of course you are. The good priest and all that. She doesn't like you much. <laughs> Feelings mutual. Now listen, go to your gran and see will she take you back in again. I'm not groveling back to her. She kicked me out, remember? Yeah, and for good reason. But you're clean now and applying for jobs. No, I'd rather live in the streets. Where does pride get you? Back where you started, is that what you want? Be honest with her. Admit you messed up, but you've sorted yourself now. Running away from your problems and hiding in the shelter will only hurt everyone more in the end. I'm not hurting anyone. It's not a good idea, that's all. I'm only looking for a bed for a few nights. Talk to your gran. The shelter is fussy about who they take in. You're not really up to the standard of guests they're used to. Yeah, yeah. Go on. All right, I'll talk to her. You're getting soft, you know that. All right. Hi. I need new content to keep my new followers. Can you help? I'm free at lunchtime. Grace, I was thinking about doing a piece on fantasy holidays. What would you do? Um, Coachella. Ibiza would do me. One big, long beach party. Here's James now. You can meet him. Hey. Hi. Uh, this is Alex. I saw your numbers. Thanks to the stuff you gave me. Um, and Alex, he helped me with the competition. Are you the videographer as well? Yeah, sometimes. You should use you more often. You've got a good eye. Thanks. Is that what you want to do, film? No, uh, I'm a college down engineering, so... <laughs> well done. I didn't make it past my leaving. Yeah, because you set up your own business. It wasn't as simple as that. Yeah, it was. Uh, Alex is in a band. It, or it was, before COVID. What do you play? Uh, guitar. Uh, who's your favourite artist? Jake Bug. The Chainsmokers. I met Jake in London once. You met him? Oh, well, he didn't have much of a choice. My, my mate sponsored this event. It's the same bloke. If he's gigging again, I'll try and get you a couple of comps. Yeah, cool. See? I told you, he's a normal guy, not an axe murderer. Uh, he's not as bad as I thought. He's loaded, isn't he? I'm more interested in him for his contacts. Who's using who? Shut up. Good to see you again, man. Yeah, you too. I heard you're living with Vinny. She's the housemate from hell. Of course she is. I woke up this morning with a moustache drawn on my face. <laughs> Can I get a box of roses, please? She just has people crashing in the house all the time. But they've basically taken over the place here. I need her out. You know, if Pete the landlord could find out what she's up to, maybe you could mention to him, say that. You heard that she let him mate stay at the house. No way. I know that bloke, Pete. He's a head wreck. No, he's not. He's fine, but I can't go for me, can I? If I'm living there. I'm not going to say it for you. You know what Vinny is like. Yeah, and I don't want anything to do with her. You're not the only one with housemate issues. I've got my own accommodation problems. What's he talking about? Accommodation problems? How should I know? What's wrong with you? Is it the thing in your face? You get rid of it, Jack? Yeah. You are worried about the alcohol. Old. I hope you're not having parties over there. I don't want any more complaints, OK? Me? Sure I'm working all hours on weekends. Vinny, then. What? Is that what she's doing? Come on, John. You're supposed to be looking after the place for me. But I am, but I can't watch over her 24-7. And I can't kick her mates out of the house. What do you mean, kick her mates out? You mean they're still there from last night? Right, we're going over there. Pete, I can't. I'm in work. OK, then. I'll sort it out. But I'm starting to wonder why I have a house manager if he can't manage. Meet me back here, yeah? It shouldn't take longer than a half an hour. Sure. Maybe you should think about film as a sideline, like James said. Yeah. Wait till he's off the call and then ask him for advice. Yeah. Yeah, well, if he's messing about, then we just pull the money. 
He's a muppet anyway. Is, is that wife of his still in the nut house? <laughs> oh, he pulled a short straw there. Uh, one minute you're saying I do, the next minute you're being carted off in a straitjacket. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. Chat later. Go on. Alex. I spend half the day putting out fires. <laughs> right. Juliet's just getting ready to film some content, so... Always busy, isn't she? Yeah. But I'll, uh, see you later, yeah? Uh, Alex. I I'd like to see you play sometime. Yeah. Sure. Hey, Pete. I've just been over to the house. You're supposed to give us notice if you want to visit. There was no one in. Yeah. It's because I'm here and Sean's in work. But I'm certain I saw a curtain twitch. Oh, do you think we have a burglar or something? Now, Missy, you've been having parties there and letting your mates hang around the house. I know that. No, I haven't. And that puts you in direct violation of your tenancy agreement. Relax. I'm not having parties. Well, I'd like to see for myself so you can bring me over. Who's breaking the tenancy law now? You can't demand to enter the premises. You need permission. Can if you're up to no good. Which I'm not. Look, why are you freaking out anyway? Did someone say something to you? A neighbour, yes. Again. Well, we can't play a bit of music now. Shall we go? Are you giving me notice? Do I need to? <sighs> Fine. You can come and see the house. When I've finished. Fine. I'll wait. You want to go to the park? There's a football under the desk in my office. You hungry? Do you want a sandwich or something? No, thanks. Do you want a bag of crisps? How about you go up and get the football, I'll get the crisps? How does that sound? Deadly. Can I just get these? Well, I'm trying mine and Judy's, I say. Uh, I'm helping Carol out just for a few hours. I'm more used to dealing with aggro teens. Now, the damage is done by the time they're 14, I reckon. That's the cut-off point. Yeah, write them off. Who cares? What I mean is, it's at Jack's age they need attention, structure. Poor lad. His real dad lives abroad. And then there was, there was Robbie. He was great with him, but now it's been tough. Kids need stability. You did it with Hayley, of course. Sorry? Stepped up when our real dad wasn't around. Sorry. I know Jerry's her real man. I just assumed. What business is that of yours? I didn't mean to cause offence. And I didn't just step up. I'm her dad, that's it. I'm not some substitute, and neither is Sharon. I didn't say that. Not that it was easy. It's a big responsibility taking a child on like that. That's what I'm saying. She was lucky to have a dad like you around. I wasn't around. Haley's my daughter. Even better. Then what? Forget it. What's it to you who Haley's dad is anyway? Why do you care so much? I deal with messed up young people every day. Believe me, real dads aren't always the best option. But I should watch my mouth. Now, well, I am her real dad, all right? I'm on your side here. Well, you brought it up. Yeah, and I shouldn't have. Sorry. Look, no one knows who Haley's biological dad is, OK? He didn't even know it was a baby. She has you, doesn't she? Yeah, and I don't need you to remind me of that. I'm just saying how easy it might be in a dad look. Yeah, well, it's not. Once you have kids, they come for us no matter what. You can't let them down. Now, you must know that through your work. Kids I deal with were never put first. Yeah. Anyway, I come over to give you this. It's the money from the fundraising fast. Thanks. I didn't expect the third degree. Oh, 
Lee and Dara are locked out. Sharon's in the station having lunch and I've got to go and let them in. Grown men, like kids, eh? See you, Jack. Bye. So are you any good at football? Terrible. OK, I'll go and go then. Good man. Get up. Oh. Hey. Hey. I want to do a walking, talking piece to camera, starting over there and then finishing by the trees, OK? Look, Julia, it's James. Did you talk to him about a film career? He can map out your whole life in five minutes. No. I heard him talking on the phone. Yeah? Yeah, it was nasty. He, he was making jokes about some guy's wife in a mental hospital. What? No, he wasn't. He was. OK, I heard him. He's not a nice guy, Juliet. Here we go. Look, there's, just, there's something not right about him, OK? What's your problem? Are you jealous? Jealous? I'm building my career while you're wasting away in college. That's what you think. By the time you graduate, I'll be long gone from here. Yeah, because being a sugar baby will pay off eventually, won't it? I'm not sleeping with him. Yeah. Don't be so naive. I'm naive, says the sheltered one. How would you work that out? Doing everything their man tells them to do. You can't make your own decisions or talk for yourself. It's like you're still 12. <laughs> Says the girl who's never had a proper job. Working in a cafe doesn't make you an adult. Oh, but prostituting yourself does. Grow up. James is playing you, Julia, and you're too stupid to see it. Thanks for your help. Really mature. Little man, how are you? Scored about a million goals. Did you? He's got a great right foot. <laughs> Whose ball is that anyway? Liam gave it to me. It was up in the office. <laughs> right, listen, come inside, Jack, and get all those action figures to clogging up my desk, all right? Bye, Liam. See you later, Jack. You can be a bit cheeky if you let him. He's fantastic, Carol. You've done a great job. Thanks. He talks about you all the time. He does not. Serious. You're his hero. He used to be Robbie. So what did you want to talk about when you called around earlier on to the house? We didn't give you a chance, just roped you into babysitting. Sponsor didn't pull out from the programme around, did he? Uh, he was thinking about it, but it's OK. I, I spoke to him. He got cold feet, that's all. It's a relief. Look, I have to go. I have a meeting. All right. Who's Killo? Nah, he's a mess, but he'll be all right. Flat didn't work out then. Listen, thanks again. Jack had a great time. Glad I could help. Hey, the time? Let's go to the park? Yeah. Go on. See? You wanna check under the couch in case someone's hiding under there? I think they're Sean's. Does he normally leave uh, his filthy T-shirt stuck down the side of the couch? <laughs> I don't know what you want me to say. I told you there was no one here, and there isn't. Yeah? And what did you do? Send them a message to warn them, huh? You're paranoid. Well, I see your phone, then. Uh, I'm not showing you my phone. What's going on? Can you tell him those years? He thinks it's proof I've been having parties and letting people stay over. What? Yeah. They're mine, Pete. Do you believe me now? Yeah. I'll be keeping a closer eye on this place. Yeah, that's not creepy at all. What was he doing here? Like you don't know. How else did he find out people were still in the house? I went to see me grand. I even brought her days, but she told me to get lost. She didn't even open the door. Come on. I know your grand. She's not like that. You think I'm lying? <laughs> I think you chicken, do. 
What do you know? You're scared. I'm not scared. I told you. You can't keep hiding from your problems. I'm not hiding. I'm asking you for help like you always said I could. I know what it's like. You're thinking, what if it all blows up in your face? But that's no excuse for being a coward. I'm no coward. Then stand up and be a man. Like you, you mean? Big man walking around with his little collar telling people what to do. Kill up, please. I'll help you. All right, I'll get you a bed in the shelter. Don't bother. You said, I'm always there for you, Killo. Yeah, anything you need, just ask. But you're not, are you? You're all tall. I don't have long. I haven't finished filming with Alex yet. He had to go into college for something. Alex heard me on the phone before dealing with some difficult work stuff. Yeah? It was out of context and probably sounded a bit bad. I find those calls stressful. You can't let people walk all over you. That's business. It, it doesn't come naturally, though, you know? I hate that kind of stuff. Don't worry about Alex. He probably thinks I'm a bit of a scum back down. He isn't thinking anything. Forget it. Or you're frowning, what's up? Okay, I'm just wondering where this is going. Where, where what's going? You helping me, our professional relationship. What's brought this on? Everything feels like it's moving so fast. Stop seeing each other if that's what you want. No, that's not what I want. Because, because if it's starting to feel weird. No, it, it, it doesn't feel weird. I just don't want to be naive, that's all. You're not naive, not at all. I just want to know how you see this panning out in the long run. Cards on the table time now. <laughs> I'm probably going to make a hames of this, but here it goes. So, you're smart and gorgeous, obviously. I like helping you. If it was up to me, we, we might be closer. But that's not my MO. It, it never was. I'm not going to make a move or anything if that's what you're worried about. I'm not like that. Even though I'm gorgeous? Yeah, despite that. It's up to you, Juliet. What is? If we do take things further, it's your decision. So you're at my mercy, is that it? Well, pretty much. Thanks for coming. Well, I have ten minutes. That's all I can spare today. I appreciate it. Yeah, so you should. Right, so the biggest issue is the website, but I can't update that without more information, so that's your job. Sorry, this isn't about the programme. There's something I have to tell you. We're not losing more funding, are we? No. What then? It's no easy way to say this. I'm your father. <laughs> <laughs>